One of the uh, one of my favorite things to do as an exercise in, in preparedness is um, foraging wild foods and uh, you know, wild greens uh, are usually the, the first thing to come along and uh, at least in, in my area the first thing is dandelion greens and um, they're um, I mean, loaded with vitamins uh, if, you, if you cook them right they're extremely tasty and um, obviously easy to find um, the only thing really being is make sure where you uh, where you get your greens nobody's you know using any pesticides or anything but uh, other than that it's, it's pretty straight forward um, so there's a nice big bunch right there what I do is I don't go very deep especially if you're doing it on somebody's lawn <laughs> But uh, here I'm just I'm just out in a out in a barnyard, so it doesn't matter too much. But I just go down just a little ways, just enough to pull them up. They come up as one big one big bunch. Ooh, got some some worms in there too. Look at that. And uh, just take them in, clean them off. Um, if you get a little bit of the root like I did. You can you can dry that, and that's um, good in, in medicinal teas. Uh, it's a blood purifier, natural diuretic. Um, but to uh, to cook these and make them taste good, uh, what what I do is I I, I boil them uh, and discard the water three times. Uh, that takes the bitterness out, and if you if you do it right, they're they're very tasty. And uh, I think you'll enjoy them. I know I do. One in the bucket. Plenty more. Dinner tonight. We've got ten minutes poking around uh, the edge of the yard, and I got half a pail full, plenty for a meal. And I go in and um, clean them up. I would imagine there's a lot of different ways to do this, but um, this is basically how I do it. You can separate these individual clusters like this. You can saw the dirt off. You know, pull out anything like, like you know, any grass that comes up with them, you know, get that out of there. down, get all the dirt off them, um, any leaves that um, you know, don't look right, you know, pull those off, I, I throw them in there and give them the chickens, they love them, and then get some cold water, keep them nice and crisp till we're ready to cook them, and you keep those small little uh, pieces of root, you know, you cut those off and you dry them and save them. And not only can you make a, a uh, medicinal tea, you can roast those roots and make a coffee substitute too. That will be something for a future video. Okay, greens are cleaned and rinsed and uh, getting ready to go on the stove for their first boil. Got um, quite a pile of roots to dry. And, uh, onward we go. Now here's our first boil. We rinse and repeat. Uh, if you don't rinse in the three times uh, they're basically so bitter uh, you can't eat them, so highly recommended.
So you can see uh, how much they shrunk up just in the just in the time to uh, bring it to a boil. So you need um, you need a good good half to two thirds of a five gallon pail for a, for a meal. And back on the stove. Here's our second boil. So I'll go rinse this and put it on for the third and, and final one. Okay, now we're at our third boil. Um, this time, instead of uh, draining it and uh, immediately, I'm going to go ahead and let them cook down until they're uh, the right texture for, for eating. Okay, so now we bring it over and drain. Let it drain good to get all that water, the bitterness out of it, into a serving bowl. and enjoy. Delicious.